Get ready to step into the virtual world and create your own VR content like a pro. Imagine the excitement of being transported to a completely new world, where you have complete control over every aspect of the experience. Now imagine the world is not just in your imagination, but is a virtual reality that you've created yourself. The thrill of exploring a world that you have created, where you have the power to shape every detail and immerse others in it, is truly unparalleled. But the real question is, are you ready to take the leap and bring your vision to life in the virtual world? With VR content, the possibilities are truly endless, and creating it has never been easier. If you want to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe to Metagen and hit the bell to stay in the loop. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to take your ideas and bring them to life in the virtual world. We'll start with the basics, discussing what kind of VR experience you want to create and how to choose the right VR platform for your project. From there, we'll dive into the resources you need to bring your experience to life, including 3D models, audio, and graphics. Next, we'll be covering the VR software that you need to bring your experience to life. Whether you're using Unity, Unreal Engine, or A-Frame, you'll have to choose the right software for your product and start prototyping your VR experience. Once your prototype is ready, it's time to test and refine your VR experience. You'll learn how to get feedback from others and make any necessary adjustments to ensure your experience is smooth and enjoyable for your audience. Finally, we'll cover the finishing touches that will take your VR experience to the next level. From adding sound effects and music to smooth transitions, you'll learn how to add polish to your VR experience and make it truly stand out. Defining your VR experience is a critical step in creating your VR content. It's essential to understand what kind of VR experience you want to create, as this will help determine the tools and resources you'll need to make it a reality. Do you want to create a VR game that provides an immersive and interactive experience? Or maybe you want to make an educational VR experience that teaches users about a particular subject. Maybe you're interested in creating a virtual tour that takes users on a journey to different parts of the world. Whatever type of VR experience you choose, it's important to have a clear understanding of what you want to create. That way you can select the appropriate tools and resources. With a well-defined VR experience, you can be confident that you'll have everything you need to bring your virtual world to life. Have you decided on a platform yet? Choosing the VR platform that you want to create your experience on is another important step in creating VR content. The VR platform you choose will determine the hardware and software specifications that you need to meet, as well as the audience you'll be targeting. If you're creating a high-end VR experience with advanced graphics and features, you may want to consider a platform like the Oculus or HTC Vive. But on the other hand, if you're creating a more accessible VR experience that can be done with a smartphone, you may want to consider a mobile VR headset, like the Samsung Gear VR or the Google Daydream. Additionally, some platforms like PlayStation VR are specifically designed for gaming, so it's important to consider what type of VR experience you want to create and choose the platform that best fits your needs. With the right VR platform, you can ensure that your VR experience will be compatible with the hardware and software your audience uses. Are you ready to start gathering your resources? Gathering resources is a key aspect of creating VR content. To create a truly immersive VR experience, you'll need to bring together a combination of 3D models, audio, and graphics. You can either create these resources yourself or source them from various online platforms. If you're creating the resources yourself, you might need tools like Blender or Autodesk 3ds Max for 3D modeling, Pro Tools and Audacity for video editing, and Adobe Photoshop and Illustrator for graphics design. These tools can help you create high-quality 3D models, sounds, and images that will bring your VR experience to life. If you're sourcing resources from online platforms, you have a wide range of options to choose from. For 3D models, you can use platforms like TurboSquid, Sketchfab, or Unity Asset Store. For audio, you can use platforms like Audio Jungle or Epidemic Sound. And for graphics, there's platforms like Shutterstock or Freepik. These platforms offer a wide range of resources you can use to build your VR experience, and many of them offer both free and paid options so you can choose the best resources for your project and budget. Have you chosen your VR software yet? Choosing the right VR software is an essential step in creating your own VR content. This software will be the foundation of your VR experience, allowing you to bring 3D models, audio, and graphics together in a cohesive and immersive experience. There are several VR software options available, each with its own strength and limitations. Some popular choices include Unity, Unreal Engine, and A-Frame. Unity is a powerful and versatile VR software that is well suited for both beginners and experienced VR developers. It allows a user-friendly interface, a large library of assets, and the ability to publish to a variety of platforms, including Oculus, HTC Vive, and mobile VR devices. Unreal Engine is a more advanced VR software that is favored by professional VR developers. It offers advanced features like physics simulation and real-time lighting, as well as the ability to publish to a variety of platforms, like Oculus, HTC Vive, and PlayStation VR. 
A-Frame is a lightweight and accessible VR software that's ideal for developers who are new to VR. It uses HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, so developers who are already familiar with web development will find it easy to get started. Are you ready to start prototyping your VR experience? Once you have gathered your resources and chosen your VR software, it's time to start prototyping. Prototyping is the process of creating a rough version of your VR experience to test and refine it. This is an important step because it allows you to quickly test and refine your VR experience without investing a lot of time or resources. You can use Cardboard or another low-cost VR headset to test your prototype. Cardboard is a simple and effective way to get started with VR and it can be used with most smartphones. Simply download a VR app, insert your phone into the cardboard headset, and get ready to test your VR experience. When prototyping, focus on testing the core functionality of your VR experience, like user interaction, navigation, and overall experience. Pay close attention to the user experience and make any necessary changes to improve it. This is also the time to test and refine any animations, sounds, or other elements that will help you bring your VR experience to life. Have you gotten any feedback from friends and family yet? Testing and refining your VR experience is an essential part of creating successful VR content. This is the time to ensure your VR experience is smooth and enjoyable for your audience. It's also important to test your VR experience with a diverse group of people to get a variety of perspectives and feedback. Ask friends and family to try out your VR experience and provide feedback. Encourage them to be honest and direct with their feedback and listen to their comments and suggestions. This will give you a good understanding of how your VR experience is perceived by your audience and what areas may need improvement. Pay close attention to technical issues like motion sickness, load times, and overall performance. Ensure that the VR experience is comfortable and engaging, and with a user-friendly interface that makes it easy for people to navigate and interact. It's also important to test and refine any audio or visual elements in your VR experience. Ensure all audio is clear and well-balanced and that visual elements are of high quality and add to the overall immersive experience. Now it's time to add the final touches to your VR experience. Once you're happy with the functionality and overall experience of your VR content, it's time to add the finishing touches that will take it to the next level. Adding polish in your VR experience is what sets it apart and makes it truly immersive and enjoyable for your audience. One of the first things to consider is the sound design. Sound effects, background music, and other audio elements can greatly enhance the overall experience. Choose sounds that complement and enhance the visuals and make sure they're well balanced and clear. Another important aspect of adding polish is making smooth transitions between different elements and scenes. This can include fades, wipes, and other visual effects to help create a seamless and immersive experience. Finally, consider adding a logo, title screen, and other branding elements to your VR experience. This helps establish your brand and gives your VR content a professional and polished look and feel. And if you want professional content from your YouTube channel, make sure to subscribe to our channel and stay in the loop with our latest trends. Now you're ready to bring it to your audience. Publishing your VR experience is the final step in creating your VR content. It's time to share your hard work in the world and watch as your audience immerses themselves in your virtual reality. There are a number of VR platforms available for publishing your VR content, including Oculus, Steam, and others. Choose a platform that aligns with your target audience and provides the features and tools you need to showcase your VR experience. Before publishing, make sure your VR experience is thoroughly tested and refined, and that all technical and visual elements are working as intended. Consider any final tweaks or improvements that may enhance the overall experience for your audience. Once you're ready to publish, follow the platform's guidelines for uploading and submitting your VR experience. This may include filling out information about your VR experience like the title, description, and key features. And before we finish, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave us a like and tell us what kind of VR experience you're looking to make. That's it! With these 8 essential steps, you now have the knowledge and tools to create your own VR content. By following these steps, you'll be able to create a VR experience that is uniquely yours and tailored to your specific vision and goals. From defining your VR experience and choosing a VR platform to gathering resources using VR software, prototyping, testing and refining, adding polish, and finally publishing your VR experience, the process of creating a VR experience is both challenging and rewarding. So go ahead, step into the virtual world and let your imagination soar. The possibilities in VR are endless and with the right tools and knowledge you can create an immersive and engaging VR experience that your audience will love. Remember that the key to creating successful VR content is having a clear vision, staying organized, and to continue experimenting and testing until you're satisfied with the final result. With these tips in mind, you're well on your way to creating your own VR content that is not only engaging, but also fun. Except for VR content, are you interested in what some of the best headsets on the market are? Then be sure to check out our video, HTC Vive XR Elite vs Oculus Quest 2, What Should You Buy? We're going to be putting some of the industry leaders in a head-to-head -head battle. 
thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure you join Metagen by subscribing now.